The riders are not the only ones that you will be seeing emptying their tanks here today. The large water reservoirs of the Alps in the form of glaciers and the lakes that they feed are doing the same thing. The base of permanent snow is marked by the snow line and the line is rising. When climates were cooler in the past, the snow mass was larger and extended much deeper into the valley. Glaciers form high up in the mountains where snow gets compacted into large volumes of ice. They grow in the winter and in the summer they melt at their front, providing water to streams and lakes and eventually to large rivers like the Rhone and the Rhine and the Po. Every year, these glaciers provide fresh water and power to 170 million people. So you can think of the glaciers of the Alps as the water towers for large parts of Europe. But in times of rising temperatures, the fronts of the glaciers retreat and the volume of the water tower decreases. Every year, an amount of water is lost from the glaciers of the Alps that is 10 times the volume of the large lake down there. And so the balance is tipping. And that is going to affect the ecosystems of the mountains and the lowlands alike, including us. So the glaciers of the Alps are a bit like riders that didn't eat enough before their final climb. And those rarely win their race.